Okay. Hello. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, wait, it's not 305 yet. I'll be quiet for a second. Oh, it is 305. Okay. Hello. Hello. First of all, can you hear me? Can I get? Yes. Thank you, Gianna. Okay. Thank you, Gianna. Hello, G. Okay. I'm about to. I'm about to. Thank you, Miriam. Wait, and tell me if I. No, Mariam. Tell me if I'm. I'm about to say hello to all of you. I'm not about to do something that is not meant to embarrass anybody in particular, and it's not individual to anybody, but it's partly my way of learning your names. So please don't take it personally, but, but please correct me if I say your name wrong. You can correct me with your voice. You can correct me in public chat. You can correct me in private chat. But thank you, Gianna, for saying yes, that you can hear me. I'm going to assume that means everybody else can hear. And uh, uh, Gianna and someone else said also, I think it was Ashley, but anyway, okay, but thank you. And oh, who was it? Oh, it was Mariam, whose name I'm not saying right, possibly. And um, we'll find it. Oh, Emma, wait, I see you. And you're it's on. Mary, your professor. Oh, hi. Good. I am saying it right. You're, oh, I, oh, it's Mariam. Oh, Mariam. I'm sorry, Mariam. Okay, nice to meet you. And thank you for using your voice. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, nice to meet you. Now, and everybody, we're going to talk. Well, anyway, all right, let me start. I'm going to say hello. I'm going to say hello to everybody. It's not to jostle you. It's not to embarrass you. Um, and, um, and I'm going to also say I very much appreciate, oh, people are still coming in. Okay, hang on a second. So today is definitely a big welcome day. This is all about welcoming you and hopefully putting our minds at ease and seeing what this course is all going to be about. Like, if you are here right now, you've already done the right thing. You've already done like two or three right things um, and you haven't done any wrong things. Um, so hopefully again, today will make be served to um, make everybody feel like they're in the right place at the right time doing the right thing. So let me start by saying hello, Gianna. Hello, Kristen. Hello, Ashley. Hello, Tobias. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Jose. Hello, uh, uh, Katya. Hello, Jasmine. Hello, Anthony. Hello, Montserrat. Hello, uh, Abdel Rahman. Wait, Abdel Rahman, I think. And please, again, correct me any way you want about your name. Correct me in private chat. Correct me in public chat. Correct me with your voice. I'm Professor Yaverbaum. My name is Yaverbaum. That is, it. once you learn to pronounce it, it's easy to pronounce, but it's a ridiculous name until you know it. So I definitely know what it feels like to have people I mean, I've been called all kinds of things, so I definitely don't want to do that to anybody else. Um, I will also say, if you've ever met anybody named Yaverbaum before, then I would like to know, because if you've ever met anybody named Yaverbaum, that means you've met someone in my family, you've met someone that I'm related to, or you've met someone that I haven't heard of that I need to hear of, because it is it is that unusual a name. So. Um, so, so I definitely don't want to um, mess up your names. Okay. Oh, so I said hello so far. Oh, and hello, Stephen. So, so I've so far said hello to the people that are showing video. They are not the only ones here by any means. Um, hello. I'm going to say it wrong again. You're going to have to, it's going to take me a couple of times. Sorry. Mariam. Hello. Old Smile. Hello, Kay. Hello, Sumaya. Hello, Alejandro. Hello, Brianna. Hello, Brian. Hello. Oh, hey, oh, nice, nice. Okay, hey, okay. Um, hello, Hada, I think. Hello, Emily. Hello, Kevin. Now, let's see if I did this right. Again, please correct me if I'm saying this is dead. Oh, and oh, and hi, Osmael. Please tell me if I'm saying your name wrong. Also, you're going to find. Um, this is going to be a funny class. Again, it's mostly for the purpose of welcoming you. I'm going to talk a lot. I do talk a lot. I talk fast. Please. Oh, I got it. Okay, good, good, good. Thank you. Awesome. Please interrupt me at any time. With, it's not even interruption. I mean, please participate at any time you feel like it. Public, unless I say not to, but public chat, private chat, voice, any way you want to get a word in, please do. Because because it should be more about you talking, less about me talking. But it, but if I forget, I mean, I will just go into my own head and just keep on talking until until someone says something. Like uh, that will happen. I'm a guy who talks for a living, so no, there's no way to stop the train wreck unless you actually do participate. And I will almost never consider anything that you do as an interruption or as rude. 
I will consider it as helpful participation. In fact, you will get all kinds of points for that. We're gonna talk about that today. We're gonna to talk about how you get points for various participation. Um, um, one thing I wanna, oh, so let me, okay, so more people are joining. Already, I wanna thank, I, I can't believe I did say it right, okay. I wanna thank All Smile already for making a group chat, um, setting up a group chat, that's fantastic. I mean. Um, having done it even before the class begins, terrific, terrific. I hope you all saw that in the Google Classroom. I mean, and it's not for me. I mean, I saw it because it's in the Google Classroom. We'll talk about that. But hopefully that's a resource for you guys. I, I won't, unless you invite me or tell me, I won't, like, that's space for you guys to work things out and to be angry at me. You know, if you're angry at me for something, you can talk about it there. I won't invade your space but i think it's terrific and necessary for you to have one so i really appreciate um that someone already did that um everybody that's already participated at all today those of you who said hi or hey oh or you got it or yes you're already there's already going to be an opportunity for you to get points for doing that for i'm going to talk about that those of you who are showing a video there's an opportunity to get points for that the Alejandro who's showing, uh, who's show, I'm not trying to single anybody out. I'm going to talk about this as well, about singling people out. But like, the, but the quick point is if I ever mention anybody, if I mention your name, like I'm about to mention Alejandro's, I promise you in advance, if I ever mention your name or say anything about you as an individual, it's because I'm about to say something positive. I promise. Now, that still might embarrass people sometimes. I don't mean to do that. But if I, I will never, ever, ever like raise somebody out or mention someone's name to say something negative or or to intentionally embarrass them or to say they did something wrong never and if someone's not in class today or something i will not talk about that that's their business but if i ever do mention you or like if i say hello to you at the beginning of class which i will do every single class it's meant to say like yay it's meant to say this is a good example of a good thing so for example for example, all the people that I said hello to first because they were showing video so I could actually see them. I am praising that. I think that's terrific and very appreciated that they're showing video. But two things about that. Number one, it doesn't mean that the other people who are not showing video are doing something wrong or losing points or anything like that. Not at all. There could be a thousand legitimate reasons that a person is not showing video at any given moment. So if you're not showing video, I'm not saying that's a problem. If you are showing video, yes, I'm saying that's even better. That's even more helpful to me, to other people in the class. But, and you can get points for that, which we'll talk about. People who are not showing video are not losing points, but people who are showing video can be getting points. We're gonna talk about that. But also, cause I know how this goes. If you're showing video right now, for example, don't think, uh-oh, now I just trapped myself because now if I ever turn off the video, he's gonna know that I just went to go study for my, like my, my uh, law and evidence class or so, like whatever. Like if I now turn off the video, I just set up a precedent. If I now turn off the video, he's totally gonna notice and totally gonna think it's, a, no. Anytime you show video is great, is totally helpful. And I'll notice in a positive way. But then anytime you don't, you don't. It's your business, okay? All of you, any of you, you're not. So that's the way the whole class is. I'm very, very invested, especially in an electronic class like this, in a remote class. I'm very invested in giving constant positive feedback to positive things. I want to constantly tell you what I'm looking for to make the most optimum group human experience we can. But anything that's not optimum, just not paying attention, like is just not optimum. I'll never draw, I'll, I mean, never intentionally draw attention to negative things, uh, but I will often draw attention to positive things. Positive things often turn into points. Negative things never turn into deductions. They just, okay? So it's kind of like everything you do in this class in a way is like extra credit. Like you can only win, you can't exactly lose. We're gonna talk, of course, we're gonna talk about grades and all that more specifically in a few moments, but you'll see the grading system is designed to allow for more than one possible way to get an A or, or a B or like a high grade. There's more than one possible way. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. And there's more than one possible way to make a contribution to this class and sort of be noticed 
or be helpful. There's more than one way. Some people are talkers like me. Some people are visual. They draw really super well. Not like, oh, someone just, oh, trans, oh yes, thank you. Someone just asked for a live transcription, which is a great idea. And so I just said, yes. Well, I hope it doesn't bother other people. Well, let me actually just, well, hopefully, it, so everybody can see, oh, cool. Okay, I see the thumb. Well, so this is an example right here. Someone just asked for live transcription. I'm sorry, I didn't think of it. I think it's a great idea. I'm just, and it was in the, I don't even know who asked actually, but let's even say I did. Let's even say that they asked in the private chat. Like, this is how I handle private chat and things like this. I will, if you put something in private chat, what I won't do is share your name. If you put something in private chat, I will pay attention. And it could be a very important, I could, you know, I might pay a lot of attention. I might stop on a dime for, if I see it, for what someone puts in private chat. I'll never say your name because like, that's why you're in private chat. But I will often, like someone might do something in private chat that's really for, you know, that other people also were thinking or needing. So I will often acknowledge the content of what is in private chat, but I will never say a name, okay? That, that's how, just so you know. So, and now this, pri this thing that just happened with someone asking me, oh, ba, 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 ba. oh, oh, okay, okay. So it's happening right now. This is great. This is great. So I'm getting like, things are happening in the private chat and, and this is what it's about. Think people are putting things in the private chat right now. I may be a little spazzy because I'm a spazzy guy, you'll see, but they are not an interruption. They are a good thing. Even if I start stuttering, they are a good thing that people are putting things in private chat. Same thing with this live transcript. I think it's a good thing. I think at least one person needed it. Maybe many people need it. But, and I'll tell you what's the other thing in the private chat in a moment, but let me say, maybe you're a person who doesn't want this transcript. I don't know if you can turn it off. What? I don't know, maybe you'll tell me. I don't know if you can turn it off on your end. I'm not even sure how it works, but maybe it's bad for you. Maybe you can't turn it off. You, you can, oh, okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, and for example, you do not have to have it on, okay. So I just enabled it. So it's enabled, but you don't have to have it on. Okay, that's really helpful. So by the way, like Jasmine and Sarah, just put things in the public chat, super helpful. Helpful to me also shows they're paying attention, right? It makes me feel like I'm not just talking into a black box. So they're gonna get points for that. Both, and I'm again, I'm not trying to, uh, embarrass anybody else or anything. But let me just say, for example, Jasmine and Sarah, screenshot what you just wrote in the chat. You'll see you'll see that there's gonna be an opportunity for you later, or you, maybe you already figured it out, where you're gonna like submit it into a portal on Google Classroom and you're gonna get some points for it. No one else did anything wrong, but that's just a right, nice thing to do, okay? The, but um, if for some reason, like say we couldn't put the transcript off or something, if someone did have an issue with it, they could tell me right now in private chat, Maybe I could deal with it. Maybe I couldn't. I'm not promising that I can make everything happen that everybody needs, but I want the communication with all of you of whatever kind you're most comfortable. Certainly public chat helps us the most be a class. So there's like more, you know, I can do more with public chat and I can get to know who you are better, faster, because I'll use your name if you're in public chat. But any ways of communication are good and they all eventually get points. So I'm glad the person... Um, asked about the transcript someone else so again of course i have many other things to talk about today but on it let me just say again too let's say this entire class somehow today so let's say there's so many questions come in from you guys in private or public or whatever say you have so many like legit questions or comments or whatever that i end up spending this entire day just answering your questions or putting fears to rest like you're afraid how many exams are there that Let's say I spend this entire day and I don't get to what I was planning to get to. And I do have a plan, whether I look like it or not, I do have a plan. But if I never get to my plan and I just end up answering your questions all day, assuming they're legitimate questions, totally fine. Like no problem. In fact, success. Because it means we were a group that we were actually communicating together and doing and like satisfying our needs together. Okay. It's uh, my first part. I have a plan just in case no one has anything, but I can walk in with a plan four days before an exam. And it turns out everybody's really concerned about the exam and everybody has all these questions about the exam that are much better than any plan I had, then good, then we do that, okay? And if we don't, and so keep these things coming. Um, so someone just 
asked in direct chat, so I'm not going to mention the name, but in direct chat, someone just said something about that their Blackboard is not updated, so they don't have access to the group chat. Okay, very legitimate, fair point. Let me be clear. Hold on, I'm just going to change the view on this. I've, so I have a lot to tell you about logistics like that today. One thing is, and we're going to check this, hold on a second, is that for good or for bad, th this is an apology or this is information, I don't really use Blackboard. I know all your other classes do, and I know I should. And I, what I should do is put a link. I'll try to remember to put a link in Blackboard to where all of our materials are. But the truth is, in physics, in this class and in your lab class, I believe for Professor Walters as well, we totally use Google Classroom instead of Blackboard. Again, if I remember or someone can remind me in private chat, I should put a link in Blackboard so that it just links you to the Google Classroom. That would be the best thing for me to do. I know for some of you, it's annoying if a professor does something different from the other professors. I, I recognize that. Again, you can, you can vent your concerns to me privately if you wish. But over the years, right before COVID, we started in physics experimenting with Google Classroom. And then once COVID came and once a lot of things went to Zoom and stuff, we found that Google Classroom was like super, super helpful and for most people preferable to Blackboard. Even if you're very, very used to Blackboard at John Jay, even if you've been using Blackboard at John Jay and stuff, I find, and even if you've never used Google Classroom before, like in high school or something, I recognize that some of you may never have used it before, but the truth is because it's a Google thing, I feel like for a lot of people, once they, get a, once they try it a little bit, it's a lot easier to do a lot more with, and, and sort of more fun or sort of more comfortable. I mean, it's like Google things in general. It's a, I find that it works better for physics than Blackboard. Again, I apologize if it's a little jostling to have a different thing, but, but I will tell you that I'll try to put a link in Blackboard to our classroom thing, but we have a Google Classroom set up. All of our materials from here on in, all the homework exchange, like what I assign to you, what you turn into me, all, of the, all exam reviews, practice exams, real exams, everything will happen through Google Classroom. I will be more specific about that in minutes to come today. But, but in other words, the, the private chat person who asked about Blackboard, very legitimate question, but they are not alone. You are not alone. Your Blackboard's not updated because I failed to update anybody's Blackboard. There's nothing on Blackboard. What you'll find is everything on Google Classroom in the way, and I'm gonna pause for a second to check in on this. If you got here today, if you're in the Zoom room today, that's terrific. That means you got an email from me, which I appreciate. Um, and it made clear there was no homework or anything you had to do today. But and yes, there is a good question. I'll get to okay, that's a direct chat. I'll get to that in a second. But if you got to this Zoom room today, the email that told you to come here, if you scroll down a little bit in that same email, there's a link to join our Google Classroom. And please, and a lot of people I know have already done that. I'm going to thank them in a moment. But please take them, you could even do it right now. Please take a moment to join our Google Classroom with any email address you want, as long as it clearly has your, basically your full name in the email address. Like it doesn't have to be your John Jay and it doesn't have to be a Google um, or Gmail address, but you'll add, and I'm gonna pause for a second to make sure that at least most of us have done this. In fact, I know most people already have, but so you join our Google Classroom and from here on in everything will happen, everything that doesn't literally happen live through this Zoom will happen on Google Classroom. Um, it, even if I even if you've never used it before, it's I'm not saying it's easy, but it's somewhat straightforward and I can help people in the background if you need help. But in that Google Classroom, if you join it right now or if you joined it last night, in the Google Classroom, you'll find well, well at the top there's like it says like um, stream is one option, and then it says like uh, um, class work. It says class work. Of course. I'll look it up in a second. But there's some choice at the top, like classwork or something. Uh, yeah, classwork. Yeah, there's a choice that says classwork. If you go to classwork, there's different categories. One of them is tools. Inside the tools, there is a syllabus. It's posted there. I do have to warn you. I think I warned you this in the email. The syllabus, I just wanted to get it there fast so you could see it. We're going to talk about course expectations today and stuff. But just so you could have the document and see it, I put in last semesters just so it was there so you could see it's almost like a placeholder. And the content of that syllabus won't change, but I will change the dates and everything to make it for this semester. Um, um, but so if you want to see the syllabus, it's there. I just have to update it with 
correct office hours and stuff for this semester. Oh, and speaking, of but then you'll also see some assignments in there. We're going to talk like two assignments that are due this Wednesday. We're going to talk about them. One assignment that's actually very quick, but it's due tonight at midnight. You'll see that. You'll see a bunch of assignments that are due December. We're going to talk about that today. Okay. But, but everything will be in the Google Classroom from now on. You'll see the assignments there. You'll turn in the assignments there. Don't worry about Blackboard. Um, um, and things like office hours and stuff. I should have put this up. You should see right now. Okay, I'm going to pause for a second because there's things happening in the chat. But anyway, hopefully, oh. yes, I do. Great question in the chat. Okay, I'm already falling behind the chat. But I do accept Word documents. I will talk about that. But yes, I mean, I think PDF and Google and Google Docs are a little bit preferable. But yes, I totally do. As long as it works and it gets to me, yes. Uh, hold on, I'm going to pause for a second. So there's so today is a lot about these nuts and bolts. I, I know that's kind of boring. But you also, by the way, all of you, these are great questions. I want to answer them all. And even if I don't get to everything today, we'll answer more questions on Wednesday. But you also don't even have to be, yes, I'm going to be, okay, let me answer these questions. But you don't even have to be on mute. You can just ask these questions with voice. And you're going to see, or you may already see, there's a portal where you get points for every time you use your voice. You don't have to be on mute unless just to block out background noise that's on your side, like a dog or something. But all right, let me, I'm going to pause. So I have a lot to say, as you can see. But I'm going to pause to um, go through these questions that are already in the chat. But also, um, I want to make sure. Hang on. Um, wait, I'm changing the view just so I can. You guys do see. Well, all right. No, I'm assuming you tell me if you don't see the screen share. I know it's taking up a lot of space on the screen, but there's like a, a whiteboard on the screen, which is what we use. You do. Thank you. Thank you, Kristen. And see how she just answered a question, by the way, that would be points. She could screenshot that and she'll get points for that. Like, no joke. And if, oh, and like Abdel Raham also answered it. It's not a competition. It's not a race. They both answered it. They could both screenshot that and they can submit those answers for points. Like, I'm not even kidding. And if, if a person answered it right now, even as I'm talking, fine. That's a, just to show that you're with me and that we're like feedbacking with one another. Anytime you participate at all, there's or most times, there's opportunity to get points for that. And again, if you don't participate, that's also fine. You're not being deducted, you're not being punished, and you could still get an A in the class. We're gonna, but for the but okay, so you do see it. So just so you know that the reason it's taking up all that space is so you get used to it because that that will be our whiteboard where we'll do, we'll solve all the problems and go over all the homeworks and do all the equations and things. And I do suggest that you take notes on that while we're doing stuff, but you'll also get a PDF of it when we're done. I'll talk about all of that. I'm going to go to the chat in a second because I want to fulfill my promise of answering your questions, but I just want to make one thing clear if it's not clear already, and then I'm going to go to the chat. Please notice, I, I, this is electronic, obviously, like we're not in a physical room together, and you know, that's either good or bad. I mean, depending on who you are, some people but but even though this is electronic, please notice it is synchronous. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's going to be like this. Hopefully, you'll do even more talking. But this is what it will be every Monday and Wednesday, three o five to four thirty. Every Monday and Wednesday, we're going to meet in this Zoom place, and I'm going to be here like this, like running a class like this, where I'm going to reward you a lot for engaging in the class. And when we have exams, there are going to be exams about what we did in the class, like not what we plan to do, what we actually did, not what's in some textbook, hoping that we do it, what we actually did. So one thing I want to say right now, and I'm going to go to the chat, I want you to notice this thing of today, whether it's good or bad, I mean, I'm not saying you like it, but it is the reality that we're literally doing class like this in real time. That's what will happen every Monday and Wednesday. There's no difference between lecture or recitation in physics. They're like two of the same thing. Every Monday and Wednesday, this Zoom place, 3.05 to 4.30. Um, so, so you won't really want to miss. It's not about doc. When I say that everything is Google Classroom, I mean all of the documents, like homework, assignments and homework submissions and exams, but the teaching will ha and the learning directly will happen right here. Okay, I'm gonna pause because there's so much happening in chat and I'm thrilled by that, but I wanna address it now. So let me, okay, I'm gonna go to the chat. Okay, hold on. 
And again, any one of you who put anything in the chat, screenshot it. Even if we don't get to it today, just save it because it will help you later. Okay, let's look at that better. Turn it off. Okay, is there a syllabus? So I'm looking, direct track question, is there a syllabus? Yes, the syllabus is under tools in Google Classroom. I do have to update it. Like some of the information right at the top is it like it says the wrong semester on it. I because I just wanted to get it to you fast, but all the content is nonetheless correct. Um, so there is a syllabus. Oh, let me also say I'm going to keep answering these questions. If, if uh, like I said, if nothing, if all I do is answer questions for the next uh, 35 minutes, I'm, or I mean, um, the next 55 minutes, I'm good with that. But do me a favor too. You will even see if you've already poked around the Google Classroom. You'll see there's all these assignments called game and the game is our way of collecting points for class participation. Okay, one of the, and I'm gonna explain it. If you don't understand it yet, don't worry. I will explain it, but, you, but maybe you are already looking at it and understanding it. There's one particular one that's called, that's like seven points or something for closing a conversational path or something to that effect. And what that means is, is this, some of you have asked questions of me already in the public chat or the private chat, and now I'm trying to answer them. If you, and, and you'll get points for that, but if also, if I respond to one of your questions and then you put in the chat, privately or publicly, if you put in the chat, thank you, you answered my question. Or, or, or wait, actually that wasn't my question. What I meant was like, could you actually elaborate on, if you follow up and make it clear to me whether I have communicated with you or not, that's also points. That's called, in my mind, that's called closing a conversation path. Like literally, and literally, if you ask me a question, you get points. If I answer it and then you say, thank you, that answered my question, that's more points. Not just because it's like polite, which I appreciate, and not just because it's like human, which I appreciate, but also then I know like it's feedback from, you know, it's like Amazon, like, you know, customer feedback, whatever. Like I need to know whether I'm, doing what people need or not. So, so even today, if I'm answering your, even if it's still not clear to you how or when you're getting these points or what they do for you, trust me, please. If I answer a question of yours, please put it in the chat like you answered it. So I don't feel, okay? So, okay, I'm gonna keep going. So, so do we get grades on Google Classroom too? Yes. Oh, oh, good question, Kay, good question. You, all the, even the grades all happen on Classroom. I, for good or for bad, I like never look at Blackboard once the semester starts. What I should do, and you can remind me, I should put a link in Blackboard so that you can open up your Blackboard and just have it, you know, automatically send you to Classroom. But no, I, I apologize, but for good or for bad, I just don't use, I mean, I hate, but I don't want to say that, but no, all the grades and everything even happen on Classroom. Eventually when the class, I mean, these are very good questions. And if I sound defensive or intense, it's because I always sound defensive and intense. It's nothing's wrong with these. And because I do, I'm a little, look, I know it's a little bit uncomfortable for some of you that you're used to Blackboard and, I, and I'm like just saying I'm too cool for that. I mean, I don't like when professors do that either. I'm a little uncomfortable, then, but I've been doing it this way for a while and it seems the benefits seem to outweigh the cost that the benefit of Google Classroom and what a much better platform I think it is, especially these days for all this like remote learning, I think the benefits outweigh the costs. So the honest answer is all the grading, all the great information you get will be on Google Classroom, not on Blackboard. On the very final day when the class is over, of course, your grades will be submitted to CUNY first and you'll find your final grade on CUNY first. Like, and I mean, you know, it will be an official grade. I'm not, it's not just gonna live in Google land or something, but so for better or for worse, no, you can like, like Blackboard will play no role in our lives in physics. This is also true in physics 204. It's also true in your lab. It's just, it's a physics thing. Um, I apologize. So, but I hope that answers the question. Uh, and I will talk a lot about grading. I mean, I, I, believe me, I'll try. Anything that's confusing by the end of today, we'll pick up on Wednesday. I don't want anything to be confusing. I know I talk fast and stuff like that. And some of our procedures are a little bit unusual. So also, if you end up asking twice, I'll, that's totally fine. I'll end up answering twice. I will talk about the grading today. It may not be obvious from the syllabus how it works. I mean, it isn't obvious. Um, but the grades will happen through Google Classroom. Um, okay, I'm looking at the next, but great question. Okay, now Brian's question. Do I accept Word documents for homework? I guess I am. Yes. Again, we're, we're going to, yes, I do. Um, 
All right, in fact, let me pause on, is this work? I'm just looking at the time. Let me talk about, all right, I'm gonna pause for a second. Hopefully you see, I'm just going through the chat and answering questions now, and I'm gonna keep doing that as long as there's questions in the chat, but just do, let's pause for a second. Can you just put up like an electronic hand or electronic thumbs up or something? If you're with me so far, like even I'm talking very fast and I'm all over the place, but are we fine so far? Cool, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jose. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you, Montserrat. Thank you, Hada. I think. Thank you, um, Ashley. Thank you, Jocelyn. I think. Thank you, Alejandro. I think. Again, tell me. If, thank you, Mariam. Please tell me if I'm saying your name wrong. Thank you, Brianna. Thank you, Emily. Th thank you, Su Sumaya. I think. Thank you, Sumaya. Please tell me if I'm saying it wrong. Um, thank you, Gianna. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Jasmine. I think that's okay. I got it right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. All right. And and let's also pause for this. Look, I, I take physics very seriously. I love physics. Okay. But I also, but I take physics classrooms very seriously. Um, very. Um, I love physics. I've been doing physics for a long time. We'll talk about that too. But not because I found it or find it easy. Believe me, I struggle. I chose to be a physics major in college and I chose to go to graduate school twice for physics. That does not mean I did not struggle a lot in a lot of physics classes, okay? Or classes in general. I, college is not a joke. I mean, it wasn't to me and it isn't always to you. We'll talk about that too. I think anybody who's already made it to this point I mean, this is a whole speech I don't want to get into right now, but if you're already in this class, if that means you're in a certain major, you're already at a certain place in a certain major, which means you've been kicking butt as a student for a while. You've been doing hard things and dealing with stress for a while. I know how stressful this major is. I think it's very stressful. And not every one of you in the room is in the forensic science major at John Jay, but most of you are. But if you're not in the John Jay forensic science major, you're in some other major that's, that's also super hard. No one is just taking this class because they feel like it. Believe me, I know that. Um, and if you took this class, it means you either did take or you have to take calculus right now. And I love calculus. I love calculus. And a lot of calculus will come up a lot, particularly in physics 204. But that does not mean that I think it's easy or that I always thought it was easy or anything like that. So why am I saying all this? Uh, um, why am I saying all this actually? I'm saying this because I recognize at any given moment that nothing is easy and that I don't know what is easy or hard for any one of you. So even though right now I just paused and said, is everybody cool, understand what's going on? And you all like, or most of you gave thumbs up, which I totally appreciate that. If I were in the room and I was overwhelmed and most people put their thumb up when the professor says, is everybody cool? Do we know what's going on? And most people put their thumbs up. But if I were feeling overwhelmed, Oh, of course I'd put my thumb up as well. Or I would just like lay back. To, there's no way I would like suddenly grab the microphone and turn on my video and be like, I'm not okay. Like some people would, I wouldn't. If I weren't okay, I would not admit it when everybody else was saying they were okay. So I'm saying, even though everybody just said they were okay and it looks like we are, if you, whoever I'm talking to, if you as an individual right now are not okay, that's okay. You follow, you can direct chat me and let me know that you're totally overwhelmed already. You have no idea what's going on. Like you don't have a Google class, something, something. And that doesn't mean I can make it okay right now, but it means I get it and we'll talk. And there's, you're not, nothing is too late yet. Nothing has happened yet that someone can't catch up to. Okay, to that end also before, so I'm gonna keep going through the chat. I'm gonna keep just answering these questions. But if you in any part of your mind is like, what is going on here? Who is this crazy man? Like, can we just get to the textbook or get to some material or get to some equations? Like what is going on? Or if English isn't your first language, so I'm speaking to you, just don't, don't worry. Nothing, it, like no deadline has happened yet. It is not too late for us to work things out. To that end, before I go even further in the chat, let me say, let me say um, to all of you, hold on. So number one, okay. the email address I just put in the chat is my proper email address, the one I check all the time. It's true, I have another one as well for the purpose of Google Classroom. So all your homework and stuff you might've already noticed or notifications from me go through a different 
everything that comes through Google Classroom goes through a different email address for that purpose. But if you ever want to just contact me directly about anything about a problem or a request for a recommendation or anything, I do check the one I just put. I do check that one more frequently and I'll try to get back to you fast. Also though, also let me say, again, in case I'm just overwhelming anybody, and I know if you're overwhelmed right now, of course you wouldn't admit it. I mean, why would you? So also, Okay. Also, I just put my cell phone in the chat. Now that's something I'm not going to publish on the syllabus or something like that. But if you're here right now, there's my cell phone for the purpose of texting. Okay. You are welcome to text me. I'm telling you that right now. For those, so there are some of you that that's just like a much less stressful way of communicating. You're welcome to text me. Um, and you can text me at any time. If I'm asleep or something, I just won't, I mean, it just, it won't wake me up. Um, I would just ask if you text me about anything. First, the first time you text me, please identify yourself. I, you know, say I'm Gianna, I'm in your physics 203 class, whatever, um, for example. But then second of all, the one thing about texting, you can use texting instead of email. You can, I don't have any, I, it, often that's better for me too. Just the, my one thing about texting is that it should be texting. I.e. as long as if you, if there's some way that I can give you a quick answer that will calm you down or like lower your anxiety quickly, I'd like to do that. So as long as your question, as long as it takes you longer to type out the question to me, then it would take me to type out the answer to you, then that's a pretty good litmus test for texting. You follow? Like you can text me, professor, did you announce the first exam date? And I will text back, no. Or, or yes, but right now it's no. Okay, if it could be a quick thing where your blood pressure will go down just by getting an immediate response from me, as long as I don't have to spend any more effort on the answer than you spent on the question, then that's a good opportunity to text. Don't text me, professor, I missed the first three weeks of class. Can you teach me the material? Like here with a bitmoji, like no. You follow? Okay, so... So again, if I'm overwhelming or, or boring anybody or just like whatever right now, you can text that. Oh. oh, okay. I'm seeing what's happening in the chat. The answer is yes, I think, but I'll get to the chat. I see the chat is cracking me up and that's cool. I will get to that in a second. I mean, I think, I think yes. But um, one other thing just before I've also, as far as questions are concerned, like as you can see, I'm, I'm a little bit, I used to, I find physics so exciting and I find teaching so exciting. I used to hate nothing more than being boring. I would err on the side of excitement, which often then meant I wasn't clear. I mean, it still can happen. Today, I think I'm being really boring, but I'm trying, but my main goal these days at this point in my life is to make sure that people have as um, little anxiety or as little stress as possible, especially since I, the way I talk probably makes some of you stressed. I understand that. I, I, I don't want it, but I understand it. So my main goals today are to give you as many avenues as you can for not being anxious about this class. Um, you're not guaranteed an A in this class, but you are guaranteed the possibility of getting an A. Uh, we're gonna talk more about that. You, you are guaranteed my commitment that I want you to get an A as badly as you do, but maybe not as badly, but I want you to get an A and I don't have any limits to how many A's there are. You're not in competition with each other for A's. You're only in competition against yourself to get an A. And I'm here to try to help that process. And I'm, and I'm here to provide a situation that hopefully is intense, but not as stressful as some of your other commitments to science already undoubtedly are, okay? So on that note, also, I wanna get back to the chat in a second, but also as far as office hours, um, to find me physically, I you can find me on the fourth floor, 04. So it says on the whiteboard here, 04.61.05. That's my research lab. That's where I hang out on Tuesdays from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. I know that's a little bit limited, but that's where you can find me without an appointment. On the fourth floor, it's a funny place. On the four, You come out the elevators on the south side of the fourth floor, like the men's bathroom side. You come out the elevators. 
you start walking toward the jaywalk, like you make a right out of the elevators, you start walking toward the jaywalk, you do not go into the back hallway with all the standard labs. Like you don't go where you would think you would go. You just walk toward the jaywalk, thinking that you're going the wrong way. You stay in the main hall of the fourth floor. I mean, in the new building at John Jay, you walk toward the jaywalk, and right before you hit the window, right before you fall out the window onto the jaywalk, there's a door on your right that you probably didn't even know was there because neither did I. Like you wouldn't think it's there, and, but it has my name on it and it is my research lab. It's in a very, it's in a, such an obvious place that no one would ever look. And that's the point. Um, and that's where I am from 11 to one approximately on Tuesdays. There's other times we can meet or we could also meet by phone or Zoom and stuff, but then we probably would have to make an appointment, but please text me or email me anytime and we can do that. Okay, but that's where to find me physically. Okay, so now I am gonna go, so sorry, I'm, that was just all, again, my main goal is to, at least at the beginning, to have you feel welcome and calm and feel like you haven't missed anything and you still have a chance to rock this class. That's like the main goal of today. Your first responsibility was getting here, you did. Your second responsibility is joining the Google Classroom. I'm gonna check on that in a second. But the third responsibility, and that's it. And then there will be homework to Wednesday. We'll talk about that. But so far, no one's done anything wrong or anything. Let me look in the chat now because I see a lot has happened, which I appreciate. Okay, okay. What did I? Oh, I probably said the wrong time. Okay, wait. Do you accept it? Oh, oh, oh sorry. Yeah. So do I? So fast answers. Yes, I do accept Word documents uh, for Google. Uh, PDF and Google Docs are preferred. We'll talk about that. But um, but yes, I do accept Word doc. Um, I'll leave it at that for the moment. Yes. Um, and, and the way you submit homework is, it, you know, into Google Classroom. Um, we're even probably going to do it. Our first test of that will be for Wednesday. And let me say now, in case we run out of time, there is homework that's due at 11.59 tonight. It'll take you two minutes. We'll talk about it. Then there is homework due Wednesday. But I'm telling you right now, the purpose of these, these first homeworks is to make sure we know how to do homework and hand it in and to make sure we're in communication. Anything you do for Wednesday, well, the, the things that are due Wednesday are worth up to 20 points. I'm telling you right now, if you hand in anything at all for Wednesday, if you make your best attempt and you hand in anything, then I, I, no matter what number you get back, you will have an opportunity to redo it and fix it for the full 20 points, I'm, okay? So you're going to try to do the homework for Wednesday, even if I run out of time right now and haven't explained anything about it, you're going to try to turn the homework in Wednesday, but largely it's to see that the system is working and that you understand Google Classroom and blah, blah, blah. Don't overstress correct answers. Just try to hand in something for each of the two assignments that's due Wednesday. It could be a Google Doc. It could be a Word document. It could be a PDF. And the reason I say all those things is, for most, for those two regular homeworks that are due Wednesday, I'll stop in a second to see if you're seeing them. They're like physics homework. I know, I'm telling you right now, I know we haven't said a one word about physics yet today. I know that. And I know I haven't said one word about textbooks or anything. I know that. The two homeworks that are due Wednesday are designed so that in principle, if you just, even if you never took a physics course in high school or something, if you just read the definitions in the sheets that are due Wednesday, in principle, those definitions in the sheets are all you need to then answer the questions on the sheets. In principle, you don't need anything else to do those homework. They don't assume that you've read anything. They don't, besides the sheets themselves, they don't assume you've taken a prior course in physics. They don't assume that I've said anything helpful today. They assume that you read the sheet and then you try to solve the problems on the sheets. The problems start off sort of straightforward and get trickier. You are gonna to wanna to show all work. We'll talk about that. You are gonna to wanna to make the questions clear and you are gonna to wanna to circle your final answers, but you're gonna to wanna to do that all on a separate sheet. You're, you're not expected to type into the sheet that I posted. You're expected either to just start a new document right there in Google Classroom and type directly in. That is one option you totally can do. But that's a little tricky for many of us because then you have to like do symbols and math equations and diagrams in there, which is difficult for many of us. Or you just take out a blank sheet of paper like at your desk and you write out the homework the way you normally would a piece of math homework or a piece of traditional science homework. You just write out the homework with all the, you know, your, um, with question one, like you jot down basically what the question is, you show all work, 
then you circle the final answer and then you scan that in or you take a picture with your phone and you make it into one file and you submit that file. To me, that's the recommended way. But either way, the point is, I know I'm off the tangent again, but um, homework is to be submitted as a separate document, not like not don't submit back to me my own my typewritten versions of the questions i know don't do that make pretend you're doing homework on a blue book basically and your separate white piece of paper or your fresh computer document is a blue book um i if you need help turning scans into files i'll help you with that but ultimately what i want is one file for every homework submission one file so even if it's five pages don't submit five jpegs like combine the jpegs into one pdf or one google doc or something again some of you are old pros at this some of you are not i'll help anybody who needs help anything you get wrong for this wednesday don't worry about it we're finding out what help you need but try to do the homeworks that are due this wednesday on separate sheets or separate um, electronic entries and turn those two things in that you find in Google Classroom under homework, like homework one is called number line, homework two is called average speed. They are due Wednesday. So long as you try to do them, you will ultimately be able to get all the 20 points. Okay, then there's this one other thing we'll still talk about, but I wanna go, so so Word documents are fine. I'm not sure that they're I, the optimum, but they're totally fine, yes. All right, back to the chat and we have to, all right, we still, um, okay, do we have, and again, please remember, if I'm answering these questions in the chat, please let me know in the chat if I did answer your question, just so I don't feel like I'm just wasting everybody's time. But okay. Oh. oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So Brianna, great question. Will we get notified when things are updated on Google Classroom like we do for Blackboard? Great question. So the question was, will we get notified? The answer is yes. I mean, I think you have to, choose to turn notifications on. Like I think on your side, there are certain notification options, but definitely turn them on, please. And I would say my personal experience, if you've never used Google Classroom before, and again, I'm gonna find out from you, I, I wanna take a breath in a moment, but let me say, if you've never used Google Classroom before, I'm a big fan. I think you're gonna find, if your biggest concern about it right now is that you've never used it, I, I will dare to say, that many of you, even if you've never used it, are gonna end up liking it more than Blackboard. There, there, you totally also can get an app for your phone. I mean, I sound like a you know an advertiser, but there's totally an iPhone app and a, a Samsung, I mean, a, a Android app, um, which I find, I, I mean, I guess technically there's a Blackboard app, but Lord, to me, I mean, it's like a Dixie cup and a string. The, the Glassroom app, I literally use it. Like I, you can practically do your homework on your phone. Um, and so, you, and yes, you get notifications as long as you turn them on. You'll get them on your phone or what, to whatever extent you want. Um, but yes, uh, and I, so yeah, so like it works like a Google thing. Um, I, again, I have more to say about that. For example, though, at the end of this class, you see, I'm using this whiteboard. There's only one sheet. You know, I haven't done any equations or solved any problems today. Once class starts, you'll find every class is kind of hopefully more like recitation than like lecture. Like mostly in the class we're going over homeworks that is mostly what we do or solve problems together mostly we do it after you've tried the homework like it's not unusual that say you're going to try a homework before i've said anything about it that might scare you but when you look at it you'll see you're going to try it i think a lot of you will do very well on it honestly even though i haven't said and then we're going to go over it in the next class and i'll use white boards like this and i'll use a bunch of pages to go over stuff that whole white and hopefully you will take notes because that's a smart thing to do. But when the class is over, when every class is over, this whiteboard, you know, this multi-page whiteboard that you see, um, it will be turned into a PDF and dropped into your Google Classroom under a category called class notes. Every day, I will drop all the notes from the class into your Google Classroom. And yeah, you'll be notified the moment that happens. It'll usually happen right after the class, but you'll be notified also the class recordings, which we'll talk about. You'll get notified the minute a class recording um, drops. We'll talk about that. But so yes, I think the notification system is actually great. And you'll be notified every time something gets graded. Like, so yes, as now, you know, it's always a little bit different on my side from your side, but, but yes. Um, okay, okay, we see it, great, thank you. So Kristen totally gets points for closing a um, conversational loop. We'll talk about that, but thank you, Kristen. Okay, and I see it, thank you, Samaya. Oh, I remember now, yes, thank you, Abdel Raham. 
Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you, Stephen. Oh, and Emily, isn't it 305 to 420? The class? Yes. I, what did I say? Yes, Emily is right. And thank you for that correction or clarification. Yes, Emily is right. This class goes 305 to 420. What did I say? If I said 425 or 430, that's totally wrong. I mean, you were right. It's 305 to 420. I, yes. And yes, K. Oh, yeah, what did I say? I'm sorry. If someone could just tell me what I, it is 305 to, I'll write that in the chat if there's confusion. Oh. Yeah, you said 430. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. No, I meant for, that's wrong. 420. I'm sorry. Yes. On that, I'll also say, here's how class works. You'll notice I say hello to everybody at the beginning. I will. I'll do that every time. That's not a secret sneaky way of taking attendance. It's a way of acknowledging people who are here. If you're not here, I'm not thinking about you. Okay, but if you are here, I'm going to say hello. At, and if you say hello back, <laughs> even in the chat or whatever, you'll see that's, that's one way of participating in the class that will get you points. Like, no joke. At the end of class, because I'm always, you know, pushing the class, when it's class, when class is over and I'll say like, okay, I'm good, I'm good or whatever, you can go, you can go. Don't wait for me to leave. When it's over, you go. I'm telling you right now, what I do is I wait for the very last person to go before I go. I mean, sometimes I'm in a rush and I will rush people sometimes, but I will stay until the last person goes in case there's any last questions or people want to still be copying down the whiteboard or blah, blah, blah. So I try to be the first to show and the last to leave. So once I say you can go, like go, don't, you know, you're not being rude if you then go, but I will hang, but also if you have a question or something, don't panic. I will wait until everybody has left. Okay, so 420, not 430, I'm sorry. Okay, so thank you, Anthony, thank you. Thank you, direct chat person. Is there a certain category? Oh, good question, Alejandro. Um, there's no certain calculator needed. Any will work, but you do, you do want a calculator. I'll de definitely, this I'll say, you definitely want a calculator that does sine, cosine, and tangent. So that it has to be at least that advanced, that it has to have sine, cosine, and tangent. Um, and it's better for you if it has scientific notation, if you can do things like, you know, 6.0 times 10 to the 23rd or whatever in there. But it doesn't have to be like a TI-85 or it doesn't have to have a QWERTY keyboard. It doesn't have to be a um, graphing calculator. Graphing and all that stuff will happen mostly in the lab. And I highly recommend Desmos. If Professor Walters hasn't yet talked about it, I highly recommend Desmos for all the graphing and everything for lab. But that's an, a free online application. Excuse me. That's a free online application. Um, that I recommend, but calculator wise, you don't have to do anything special. Similarly, there's nothing that's illegal. We'll talk about this. I have not any, I have not announced the first exam yet. We're going to talk about that. There will be a midterm exam. There will be a final exam. I will talk about the grading, but the midterm exam has not even been scheduled yet. It'll be somewhere in the middle of the semester. I will announce it soon. There will be like, there will be review sessions and a practice test before you have it. It will not sneak up on you. I mean, it might feel that way, but it, it will not come out of nowhere. And um, there will be no pop quizzes or anything like that. Why am I saying all this? Because by the time it comes time for exams, there's no calculator that would be illegal either. There's nothing that I would consider cheating. We'll talk about why that is or how that is. But so, yeah, any calculator is fine, basically. Okay, good question. Again, please tell me if I am answering questions. And I am watching the clock. I know. 420, okay, we've got 22 minutes. I'm not sure if I missed it, but how many absences are? Okay, that's a really good question, Emily, about absences. Okay, really important question. Now, I'd be very clear about, and, and I almost wanna say, all right, I'm gonna pause for a second. So someone, Emily just asked about absences, super important question, especially for a class like this where it's synchronous. So I'm gonna pause for a second. First of all, just, Put up an electronic thumb or an electronic hand if you're hearing me right now, like if you're still with me. Okay, good, good. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Kay. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you, Osmail. Thank you, Katie. Hey, oh, thank, thank you, Katya. Thank you, Yada. I, I, I'm definitely not saying certain names, right? Okay. Thank you, Montserrat. Thank you, Sumaya. Thank you. Okay. And please tell me if I'm saying it wrong. And also, don't you hate that? I hate it when people are like, John Smith. Bob Rosenberg, Dan Yaverba. Oh, I'm probably saying some names wrong. Please, like, then it makes it so obvious I can't. 
I don't mean, anyway, whatever. So thank you, Art. So you're all paying attention. Absences, important point. The reason it's important, it's a little confusing because it's very different in lecture and in lab, or, or very different in lecture slash recitation versus lab. Lab, you can't mess around with absences. I mean, if Professor Walters hasn't already made that clear, she will make it clear again. And even if she doesn't make it clear, I'm making it clear with lab, you don't miss lab. Unless, and if you have to miss lab, definitely notify her in advance, work it out with her in advance, really. There are strict rules about lab. It is true, we've had classically forever, we've had a thing like, if you literally miss three labs, and especially if you don't talk about it or contact her or make out some arrangement, if you miss three labs, technically you can automatically fail. Now we try to avoid that, but we do have that right. So in labs, be super vigilant and if you detect that things are gonna happen or you reach out to her and you can't reach her fast enough, then reach out to me. With lab, you have to be super vigilant about being present for a thousand reasons. Now here, it, it's a little bit more complicated. In lecture and in recitation, I am gonna, I'm gonna send you a mixed message right now. I'm gonna tell you this is a little bit confusing. Um, and I realize that. In lecture and recitation, I think you're going to find that attendance is very important and participation is very rewarded. You're going to find, for example, that what you get tested on, as I mentioned before, is what happens here. You can use all the supplements in the world that you want. It won't be considered cheating. You can, you, if we do a certain topic here and it's not clear to you, like you find me confusing, you find my handwriting confusing, you can use, a, which I respect. You can use a million resources like the MSRC, like a private tutor, like all kinds of websites such as Khan Academy um, to figure things out. But what you're actually gonna be tested on and what the homework problems actually are about are what happens here. And, the, and, it's, and they're written by us at John Jay, the homeworks and the tests. So, and some of them are idiosyncratic. I've had experiences in the past where people work with tutors that. Well, I don't, I'll, I'll get into that. But the point is, it, the more you're here, the more you will feel very prepared for the exams. And some of you, if you're just here all the time, you might even find that that's mostly all you have to do to be prepared for the exams. Some of you might even find the exams very straightforward if you're here all the time, and especially if you engage and you participate, and you will get tons of points for different ways of participating, even if you never turn on a video would never show an avatar. Oh, which I never got. I was going to say something about Alejandro's thing a million years ago. But so on the one hand, I'm, so I'm, again, I'm sending you a mixed message right now. On the one hand, this is a class where you really want to try to not miss it. You'll really find that you'll do much better if you actually sit through these classes. I will always be here. They are synchronous. They are a back and forth dialogue between you and me. That is on the one hand. Okay, and you will drive the class more than you will, or the people that are here all the time and who do feel comfortable talking a lot, you're going to be annoyed at them in a way because you're going to find that they're going to drive the class in a way. And what's going to be on the test is in part going to be dictated by what they seem to be talking about a lot in the room, like for real, like we rewrite the exams every semester based on what's happening in the class. So you'll want to be here a lot. And that is Mondays and Wednesdays. There's no real, I know one is called lecture and one's called recitation, but that's unnecessarily confusing. They're the same thing. They're both with me. They're both here. So on the one hand, be here a lot. On the other hand, oh, and the more you're here, the more I notice you, the more you're going to have a big leg up on your grade. And we'll talk about that on the other hand. No, I don't take attendance. Okay. I don't. Uh, if you're not here, I will not be thinking about you for an hour and 15 minutes. I'll be thinking about everybody who is here. I will not write your name down. And I mean, I probably shouldn't say this publicly, but if you're not here, I'm not going to write your name down as not being here. If you're not here because of a doctor's emergency and it ha you don't have to prove, you don't have to get like a notarized document from the government that says your spleen was removed. Okay. If every now and again, your spleen is removed, I believe you, it's your business. Or if every now and again, you have a family emotional emergency that, that cannot be turned into an authorized note from a government official. I get that. I have a family too. Okay. You don't, you can be absent from time to time and it, you don't have to explain your personal business to me. 
really. And I won't write it down. But what it is about, now how can I reconcile these two mixed messages? The, the reconciliation is this. Officially, you're an adult, you come here, you treat this like an adult would treat it, and I will treat you like an adult. If for the most part you're here and engaging, and for the most part you make your presence known and your contribution to this class clear, then you will be amply rewarded. And then occasional things that happen in your family or in your medical uh, like life are not my business, and you don't have to explain them to me. But if you're missing a lot, if you just make a regular pattern of not being here, then I will notice that and it will be a lot harder for you to compensate and you will not realize the extent to which Khan Academy and all that stuff won't help you as much as you think because the class is idiosyncratic. So I will never directly or explicitly punish someone for not being here, but I will eventually notice and, it, and, it, and I'll stick my neck out less to help someone who's like never here and a lot of the nuances they'll just miss for not being here, okay? So, so the reality is officially, I don't take attendance, do what you need to do, you're an adult. But also the reality is I would recommend that you take, you'll see, there's just things you're gonna get about how this class works more if you're here than if you're not. Um, wait, there's a couple more things I just wanna say. Uh, um, uh, before I forget, like uh, this is a good thing about Alejandro, for example, notice that, again, a lot of people don't have the video on totally fine. But notice that Alejandro doesn't have his video, but he has like, like something that's not a black box. He has like a purple square that has an initial on it. I find that very helpful. You, like that is more helpful than a black box. If you, even if you can't like have your video on for whatever reason, even just to have something that identifies you that just like separates it from the other black boxes, just makes it, just makes it better. It makes me remember who he is better. So you'll see, if you didn't see already, there's a portal open where if you even just put an avatar instead of your black box, and it could just literally be a letter or it could be a funny picture or whatever that indicates something about your personality, you get points for that, okay? You don't get punished if you don't, but you do if you do. Okay, that just before I, because I know I kept mentioning that. Um, so you just, you want to be here, but no, when you're not here, you don't have to submit doctor's notes or anything like that. Um, you don't, if you can tell me in advance, if you know you're not going to be here, sure. As an adult human thing to tell me in advance, just to text me, say, I'm not going to be in class tomorrow because I have a doctor's in or what, for personal reasons. Fine. I appreciate that. It's like the way you would treat an employee. Like if you tell me by text, I can't be in class tomorrow for personal reasons, but I'm going to get the assignments from my friend or whatever, or like whatever the notes. Great. Cool. And as long as you don't do that, like every class, we're good. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, for, we, we're running out of time. I know. I know. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Good question about limit on the participation points we can get. There's no limit. Well, there, um, there's no intentional limit on the amount of participation points you can get. I need to talk about how these participation points work. I realize I haven't really made it clear yet. We only have 13 minutes yet. So in a minute, I may address that. Um, Oh, 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 okay. Thank you, Kay, for acknowledging that I answered your That's great. Google Classroom. Oh, great. Thank you, Emily. Um, and again, even if you don't agree with me, or if you don't like Google Classroom, even just still acknowledging is still, but cool, 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 cool. I'm glad, Kevin. Good. Thank you. I'm glad. And also, everything that's different about anything I'm saying today, I'm trying to just get everybody up to speed today because we've never been together before. If I don't get to anything today, I know that. And then we'll get to it Wednesday. Like, again, that's this class is a class in that sense. Like, you know what I mean? Like, don't be afraid. If I don't get to something today, then that doesn't mean then we'll never like that the curriculum will fall apart or something. It doesn't. Um, but why am I saying that? But to that end, so I really appreciate all these questions. And if I don't get to one of your questions, please ask it again Wednesday. But um, oh, what was I just going to Blackboard, Google Classroom. Uh, I know I have to talk about the participation, but I there was just something I was just about to say about this. Oh well, it'll come back to me. Sorry. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, and on Mariam's question, and, and yes, I did say something about this, but no, no, I'm saying a lot. There's a lot going on here, and I, I know how hard it is to sit and just. Hopefully, also, hopefully you'll talk even more. I'm glad you're putting these questions in. Hopefully you'll feel comfortable using your voice. And so you can unmute spontaneously at any time and say something. You don't have to raise your hand. You, 
more interruptions, the better. The less than it's me, the better. You'll see there's also a portal where you'll get points for using your voice. And, and there's no limit. Like if, there, if you're noticing how it's working, even though I haven't explained it yet, if you notice that you'll get points for using video, then every time you use video, you can submit it for more and more and more points. There's not a limit like in that way. Um, so even though it's the first day, so people might not feel comfortable, please unmute and just interrupt with your voice at any time. It takes enough courage to do that. To believe, I will never consider it rude. So to that end, so to that end, I yes, I did say something about this before, but I'm saying a lot. It's understandable. It's a good question. In physics, there they call Wednesday recitation because they technically every science class has a recitation. But I don't know if you all noticed this, but this is something that makes me angry to this day. I've just never fixed. I it's not like in other classes you have two lectures and then you have an additional recitation. We don't have in physics, for whatever historical stupid reason, we don't have two lecture periods a week plus a recitation. We have a lecture and a recitation. That's it. Really, so they're both the same. They're both with the same professor. They're both in the same Zoom room. And they're both lectures or they're both recitations, however you want to look at it. I try to spend most of the periods both on both days going over homework and solving problems the way you would in a recitation class. But us some days feel very lectury, like today. But yeah, there's no difference between Mondays and Wednesdays. They're both part of this. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you got it right. Thank you. Oh, great. Okay, I'm just watching the clock because I really want to address this participation thing. But great question about the exams. The exams that you have, very fair question. They're they're online. Like you could go through this entire class and never meet me physically if you wanted to. They're online. Not only that, they're take home. We'll talk about them but they're take home. They're not one of these um, webcam weirdo things. They're take home. We'll talk, they're, so they're, they're more like, um, more equivalent to like having a history essay or something that's due then. We'll talk about it, but they're take, they're huge assignments is what they are. They're not under test conditions, but they are counted as exams. But that's the answer to that, but good question. We'll talk more about them. Okay. Wait. Can you send any physics memes for extra credit? Yeah, as long, especially if you, um, yeah, if you do jokey, weirdy things, um, as long as you do it to the whole class, like if you put it in Google Classroom or in the group chat or something, as long as the whole class can benefit, and as long as it's that appropriate, sure, yes, I will open up a portal for that. You'll see, I'll open up a portal for weird physics memes or whatever, and you can get credit for that, yes. Um, also, if you, um, well, no, okay. That's very nice of you to say. Well, physics 204, that's very nice of you to say. Thank you. Oh, that's very nice. Well, <laughs> funny you say wake up because physics 204, the one in-person version of 204 is always, for good or for bad, at eight in the morning. I know that. Well, we won't talk about that, but it is in person. But anyway, okay, 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 cool, cool, cool. I'm just, it sucks. Wait, what sucks? Oh, oh, the app sucks. All right. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. No, 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 that was a while ago. I was saying that um, the Blackboard app sucks. Thank you. I'm actually really glad you got, I was trying to take that like a man, but I was deep inside. I was totally crying inside. Okay, thank you for, you totally got points for that clarification too. And you're the one who did the group chat. That's great. Thank you. I agree with you, but okay. But even if someone doesn't agree, it's still cool, but thank you. All right, cool, cool. And I know I'm running out of time. Wait. Oh, Professor? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'm really confused about the homework which due tonight. Okay. The reason you're confused is I have not explained it at all. It's not you, it's me. That's the main thing I want to try to explain in the seven minutes I have left. Yes, that's a very fair question. So, and that was Mariam who just, uh, wait, who just said that? Or Yes, it's Mariam. Uh, Mariam, I'm sorry, Mariam. Okay, great question. In fact, that's so important since we only have seven minutes, I think. I love Jose's question in the chat as well, but I'm going to, and it's also super important. Okay. The quick answer to Jose's question, should we rewrite the question? I'm gonna talk in detail about this on Wednesday. I'm gonna tell you right now, yes, I have a lot of like very specific formatting expectations for homework that some of which you would never guess. So I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna answer a lot of things like that on Wednesday. You're gonna try the homework and a lot of those things you're gonna find out on Wednesday, you're gonna find out that you didn't do them the way that I wanted, but there's no way you could have known. And that's why you're gonna like resubmit and get the full points if necessary after Wednesday. Like for example, I will answer quickly Jose's question, but you couldn't have known this. So please understand Wednesday, you're just gonna make your, I mean, for Wednesday, all of you are gonna make your best attempt 
and I'm going to give you a score. And if you don't get the full 20 points, that's just so I can show you, oh, in the future, this wouldn't be 20 points because of blah, blah, blah. But then you're going to resubmit and you'll get the full 20 points. Like all of you will, okay? So don't be upset if anything goes wrong for Wednesday. Wednesday is like our trial version. But yet to answer, what it turns out is I'm very picky about this. I like you to, to write like question one, and then in your own words, make the question clear, like, or in your own symbols. Like if I say, what is the velocity at the third second? You'll write something like at T equals three, V equals question mark. In your own words, you will make the question clear to me. So clear that I don't have to be looking at my own assignment in order to grade your homework, but you'll do it in your words. I know this is very picky. This is very unusual. So I will repeat it on Wednesday. And if you get it wrong tonight, it is okay. But yes, in general, what I want is for you to write like question one and then make the question clear in your words. That's a secret technique for forcing you to understand the question, okay? And then you'll show all your work in a method that I will explain Wednesday. Then you'll circle your final answer. So I do want the question to be clear, but I don't want you to just to copy and paste my words. There's reasons for that. So that's my fast answer. I will say that more on Wednesday, but that but that's a good question. Now, I know there's a lot more in the chat, which I totally appreciate, but I think that Mariam's question is kind of the most urgent one right now with five minutes left. Because yeah, it looks, if you're looking, which I gather you are, there's something due at 11.59 tonight. Like what's up with that? That's cray cray. What's due at 11, what happens is one of the ways that you get points for participation is every single, the whole participation thing is called like a game. It's a game because of the way the scoring works and because hopefully it's fun and easy, but, but it does count for real. Um, the way you get points, so, so the way I end up counting the points for class participation, I'm going to explain on Wednesday to you, but, but, um, but one thing that happens is every class is a turn in the game. At the end of, at the end of class today, but by midnight tonight, I'm going to ask you to take two minutes to reflect on any possible way that you participated today. That could include even just saying hello in the chat. Any of you who hasn't said any, most of you have said a lot already, I see that. But say there might be one of you right now who hasn't said anything yet, but you've been totally listening, blah, blah, blah. If you just write hello in the chat, like literally or hi, that counts, that does count, okay? And so then on this turn one that's due at 11.59 tonight, you literally type straight into Google Classroom or you'll write in or whatever. You just write, I said hello in the chat, okay? And you hit submit and you don't have to worry about the file name or anything because your name is already there in Google Classroom. You just say, I, today I typed hello into the chat. You submit, as long as I get that by 11.59 tonight, I will take, you took one second to write it. I take one second to check it off and I give you five points for class participation. If somehow you do it after midnight, you'll only get four points instead of five. I do want it to be a quick turnaround. It's the place that weirdly I'm stricter about that than on the regular homeworks. I just want that to be a quick moment of self-reflection, right? And some of you will participate more, so there'll be more to say, but, but as long as you did something, you just turn that in and you get the five points. If you literally did nothing or you weren't here today, then you just don't turn it in. And then you just don't get those five points. You don't get punished. You just don't get those five points. I'll explain where the points go on Wednesday because I know we're just about out of time. But the thing that's due tonight, and it's partly also just so you can make sure you're understanding how the Google Classroom works and I'm understanding, okay? So we'll find that on Wednesday. But just, just take two seconds to just type right in. You know, it'll say open, create new Word doc or create new Google doc or something. You do that, just hit the plot, whatever, type in, I um, typed hello in the chat, then make sure to press the button that says submit or something like, there's some button like submit or post, you have to hit that, then I'll get it and then I'll turn it back and boom, five points. Again, where all those points are going into your grade, I'll explain Wednesday. Um, two more minutes, I'm sorry, any chat questions I didn't get to, if you hang out right at the end, I'll, if you wanna hang out, I'll answer them or ask them Wednesday, but the other two other things, when this class is over, you'll see a PDF of this one page of hello notes will go into your Google Classroom. But the other thing is in a few hours, we didn't talk about this, we'll talk about this Wednesday, for good or for bad, in a few hours, you'll also get a notification from Google Classroom that the recording of this class will have been posted 
on YouTube for you to be able to watch later, et cetera, et cetera. We'll talk, that's good for some of you, it's bad for some of you, but it's the case that every one of these classes I put on YouTube and then it gets linked into Google Classroom so that if you do miss something or once the material starts getting thick and we start preparing for exams, you can always watch the class and slow it down and see what we did to study for exams. Can you, you'll, it'll all be in a playlist called P203 Fall 22. Can you go back to old playlists and see old class versions of this class and see other explanations I gave of the same? Yes, you can, of course. I, please, why not? Um, you'll even see that you get points if you do um, subscribe to the channel just because whatever, uh, but you don't have to. But yeah, this all these classes will be posted on YouTube. We'll talk more about that on Wednesday, but they're all there and all the old classes are there if you want to get ahead or see a different explanation or whatever. Okay, so sorry to take so long. I know um, it's 4.20. If you wanna, if I didn't answer your question, hang out for a second and I will, or remember for what, if anything's confusing, but other than that, sorry to be so whatever, um, but I hope this is somewhat clear. Again, the main message is every single one of you who's sitting here right now has already done everything right. You haven't done anything wrong. You still have every chance of getting an A in this class, even if you secretly in your heart think you're terrible at math, terrible at science, which I doubt you are. But even if you think that, or even if you think you're a horrible test taker, you could participate and get good grade. If you think you're a horrible participator, you can do what rock the test and get a good grade. The, the slate is still open for every single one of you. There's no maximum number of A's. There's no minimum number of F's. Okay, so I hope everybody's okay. I will hang out until the last person goes. But other than that, I will see you Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, I have a question about lab. We haven't gotten anything um, like information related, like what to bring. Do we oh, bring lab coats? Do we? Oh, wait, great we... question. Oh, you haven't had lab? Oh, cause, wait, didn't you already have lab on? No, we have lab on Wednesdays, Wednesday evening. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so glad you're asking. Okay, okay, okay. So you don't have to get a great question you don't have to get a you no lab coat necessary no i mean goggles are necessary for a couple of labs in the middle of the semester but definitely not at the beginning you won't need them until you the certain days you're asked to bring them so you don't have to bring anything and you don't i mean you should have a lab notebook but you don't need anything special for lab you just need to know where to show up and if you so where to show up if you haven't been told is new building third floor 03.65, like the physics lab room is 03.65. It's, it's on the third floor. Um, you'll have Professor Walters. She probably will send you more information than Tuesday night. I'm sorry if you haven't gotten it yet, but yeah, it's just like this. So you don't have to bring anything with you, the first lab. I mean, um, she'll print out the first lab for you from then on in, then she'll have a Google Classroom too, where you'll see the lab stuff, handouts, from then on, but you don't have to bring anything to the first lab. Does that, does that end? Wait, sorry, who I don't even see, who asked that? I'm sorry. Was that, that was Old Mile, yes, that answered oh, my question. It did, okay, cool. So yeah. Thank so, you. Thank you. Um, other, so I'm here, any other, or should I? So, so cool. Bye. Oh, bye, bye, thank you so much. Have a good night. You too, thank you, very nice to meet you. Oh, have a good day, Kevin. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. But I won't go to okay.